I think I've gone over this a couple of times in different videos, but I thought it would be good to have a video just dedicated to the topic. I mean, it's a pretty simple process, but if you don't if you don't know how to do it, it can be quite frustrating. So we're talking about importing an image into your canvas in Clip Studio Paint. Maybe you penciled it outside and you scanned it. Someone scanned it or they created it and they sent it to you and it isn't a Clip Studio Paint document, then uh, this is how you would do it. First, creating your document and you go up to here. Click and it creates new. Give it a file name, you know, it might be a page name. Um, I'm just going to say test comic. Presets. Now I do everything in 11 by 17 inches at 600 DPI. That's just what I, I like. I'm going to have a video at some point about image resolution and, and all that cool stuff, but uh, let's just go with this for now. Whatever size you want here is fine. You can have template or not, but I have a template made and I have a video about that. I'll put a link in the description. I don't deal with any of these other things, especially for this. I just kind of, I just kind of want to keep this one simple. So click OK. And here is your canvas. If you did not have a template you added to it, it would probably only have one or two layers over here. But because I have a template, it's got all these different layers. Now, unfortunately, I have to go off the, re the recording screen, but you can go to File, Import, Image, and now navigate to where you have the image that you want to import. It's usually a JPEG or a PNG or a TIFF. Click Open, and it drops it in. My size of the canvas is quite large. So what I need to do is in scale it up. So make sure that you have this operation selected and come over to tool property object. Let me see. Keep aspect ratio. That's important. And this will keep it proportional as you increase the size or decrease, you know, whichever way you're going. Uh, it won't squash it or flatten it. And you hold down option or alt and it'll, you can then size it up. Right now, the layer is at 100% opacity, which might be difficult to ink over. I have a folder as a part of the template that's 50% opacity for pencils. So all I do is leave the layer for the pencils at 100%, but the folder will make it at 50. And I think that's a lot easier to ink over and see the pencils, but it, you can see the difference between your inks and your pencils. If you want to, up in the layer properties of the image you just, the pencils you just imported, you can click on effect and change the color layer to a blue or whatever color you want, which is like the non-reproducible blue the, that, you know, some pencilers back in the day would use and probably today. But I don't do that. I just like it like this when I'm inking. And then I always like to make sure that that layer is now locked. So if I have a brush, I get this symbol here, which means I can't do anything to the layer, which is very important. That is all there is to it. Uh, it was a short one this week. I appreciate you watching. Do me a favor and click subscribe. I got other cool videos, and I don't want you to miss anything that might be coming up. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you in another video.